Magic event. It's a career day, and I saw Daniel DiMacali speak for a second time, and it was incredible as always. He just he knows how to work the crowd. He's just he's hilarious. He's very motivating, and I'm very happy to be here as always. And I have my mentor here, Danny, and I. Finally met his wife, but she doesn't really. She doesn't really want to be on camera right now, though. She's kind of, yeah, <laughs> camera shy. <laughs> yes. Do you want to say anything? Um, like, yeah, it was a great event. I know it's like every two months Daniel does it, right? It's something. Like, it's a career day. I call it Career Entrepreneur's Day. Whatever you wanna uh, term you wanna put on it, but it's a great day. We get a we get the. The swarm of the OC gets here when he comes. So we really go from standing room only when he comes because they were standing outside the, the door when I went through a few times. So just a great day. We were able to connect, see people, and it's very engaging. And um, it keeps you alive to keep going because... This is real. We got a great product, great business, great people, and we just have to keep going. And you know, it's like I was saying, you got to really focus on making a change. We've been really exactly. programmed to doing things for a number of years, over and over and over and over. Whatever the aspect we keep repeating, and we may not see a change, but it seems like people just keep repeating. And I think entrepreneurship is really a basis of getting down, working on yourself, and taking. Just saying, forget it. Taking calculated risks. Take responsibility. Quit making excuses. Leaving the comfort zone. Leave, you got to leave the comfort zone. I, I, I've heard it multiple times the last few months that 85% of the people are born in a certain area. They don't move 50 miles out of that area. That's a comfort zone. Even if the area doesn't really support them. Or maybe the area doesn't have a job. Or maybe the area is not really beneficial for them. I, get, don't get me wrong. The work is within you. But outside of you, maybe you have to make changes, too, after you do the inside is first. If you don't do the inside, it doesn't matter about the outside. Exactly. So, the mindset change is another change. You, gotta, you know, changing perspective is the biggest power you have. And if you don't know how to change perspective, you better. Because you're going to beat yourself up with your own thinking and always, always me, kind of that, uh, there used to be an old TV show, Cartoon Gulliver, where he was like, well, it was me all the time. It's always me. I'm the, the unlucky one. Who's going to take it. We have to take the perspective and take responsibility. No, it's your fault. You make the change. But waiting for a president, and these presidents ain't going to change your life. This government's not going to change your life. You got to do it. You got to take the bulls by the horns and get on it and do it to it. You got to do it. You got to do it yourself. Nobody's going to come and, and do it for you. You are the one you've been waiting for. Yeah. You really got to be the one. You got to be your your own redeemer. You gotta really be the one that comes and that makes the change. You gotta activate the true you within self and within yourself to do these things, or you're just gonna struggle with them. And it all begins right here at the temple. You gotta make the change, the mindset change, because that other fellow, that other person that you have been, will always try to revisit you and conjure you up to follow back and be negative and have no hope and go to a nowhere place or job or nowhere situations that really don't benefit you. So I would say you got to make a change. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everybody is, <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm one of his top advisors. I'm sure. So and for the distributors here, I think you know that. Uh, and it's because of my background. This is not what I do, by the way. Okay. I fell into this by accident. I went to a meeting to get rid of this girl who kept telling me about water and go to a meeting. And, you know, I didn't really want to go. Who wants to go to a meeting about water, you know? And, uh, I thought it was one of these no-juice things. Uh, Sango, uh, Gano coffee, uh, uh, 
prepaid legal or legal shield, mm -hmm. juice plus, uh, herbalize, uh, new skin, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know? And by the way, let me just back up. I have no problem with any of those companies. Okay? Just in case some of you are doing that, there's companies out there that are phenomenal, as a matter of fact. Some of my best friends are top earners in some of those billion dollar operations. Okay, so I have no problem. I just didn't want to be doing one of those things. You know, you do that, okay? <laughs> I ran a company here in uh, Irvine along with my partner, Dr. Lee. This is Bob back there. He normally writes children's books, but he's been able to write a couple of motivational books. Uh, he's a tenured professor at UCI. And uh, he's an MIT PhD. He's been my partner for a long, 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 long time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to lunch with him this week, uh, uh, next week. So anyway, um, that's what I did. I chaired the board of a large company. Prior to that, I ran a company in uh, Newport Beach. That's where I'm from. Um, I didn't run it. Dr. Cooper ran it. I still chair the board. <laughs> I finally met her. It's Marissa, it's Danny's wife. <laughs> finally met my sister. I know. <laughs> sister from another mother. <laughs> um, do you want to say anything, like as far as like what you like? What did you get out of today? Oh, today was phenomenal. I'm gonna get a get that word from Daniel de Macaulay. It's phenomenal. Sometimes it's weird, but it's really amazing. It's for your health, well, and it is just an amazing product, isn't it? Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. It's just what what more is there to say? <laughs> and the company is awesome. The team is amazing. Join us, Daniel. Daniel. She wants you on camera too. <laughs> he said, if you want dreams, go get them. <laughs> Big dreams. Thank you so much. <laughs>